Hello, and welcome back to Honor Bound. What's up? So. You guys are in the town of Harwick, and you are currently having dinner. Oh, well, actually, dinner to breakfast. In the common room of the Wayfarers West. Oh, I will ask if, like, any lovers have gone missing lately of the innkeeper. Hmm. Curious that you ask. There's been some, uh. There's been some eloping going on. Heard of, I've only heard myself of about three couples eloping. Most and, likely gone to Valak. Um, and they never came back? Shakes his head. Um. I'll explain what happened by the river and show him the letter. You might want to tell couples that eloping isn't safe. I'll spread a word. Thanks for this. If anything danger is going on, you have maybe saved some lives. I don't know how much and how many will listen to me. You know when you are in love. No, I have no idea what that's like. Well, we'll find out eventually. Not with the company I keep. Trust me, love comes from the uh, most unexpected places. So, um, I guess we get going on the road to Valark. Are we? Are we live? Yeah, I yes, said yes. We're, we're live. Oh, I my earphones went in. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome, just Ryan. <laughs> is having some really really strange conversations right now <laughs> <laughs> not sure what i walked into but we're discussing where love comes from it comes from the smegma is that what they're saying my chat window died <laughs> i'm pretty sure that love comes from the genitals i yes. think it comes from the heart guys i think love comes from the heart your heart doesn't produce any hormones Dude, well, your your metaphorical heart, Mara, your <laughs> metaphorical heart. I like I like how his wedding ring is seen when he does this. It's like <laughs> right there. testosterone is responsible for most of the feelings we associate with love. Maybe love comes to you from your pituitary or which something something like that. In any case, if, if we're live, why are we talking about balls? <laughs> and talk about some ass. so yeah let's go let's we were go talking about love because i was informing the innkeeper that his town is being apparently three couples have eloped and disappeared oh god so hopefully no more will because now they have been forewarned but you never know so you did tell them about the jackals and all that mm -hmm. okay we showed them the letter Ex explained how they were getting the d Um, oh, I will expend hit die over the course of the night. Go for it. Okay. Are you not at full HP? No, uh, you're going no, to have three I... hit die. Unused. Yeah. Oh, That's right, you took one attack. I forgot. Took, took two attacks. Alright, I'm at All right, down three. Oh, I won't bother spending another hit die. Okay, that's it. You, uh, I I'll give you three good berries. Okay. Be at full HP. I nibble them skeptically. Yeah. Every night before I go to sleep, if I haven't ended up using all my spell slots, I'll probably make me some good berries. Can you have unlimited good berries? They last for twenty-four hours. But you can make as many as you want. I can make ten per casting. Yeah, but you yeah. can cast like cast it like seven times. And... No, I can. I have three level one spell slots. Okay. But then when you get second level spell slots, you can just use all your unused spell but slots. But I think there's a maximum amount of things that you, uh, of them that you can eat. No. It says it keeps you sustained for 24 hours and restores one HP, but it doesn't say you can't eat as many as Wait, you want. You can use these instead of food. Yeah. Yeah. Sandor all of a sudden becomes very interested. Eating a berry restores one hit point, and the berry provides enough nourishment to sustain the creature for one day. This is the secret of elves. 
and why they what what the joke about them eating only one berry. It's also why I haven't been buying food. If you hadn't noticed, I don't carry rations with me, and I never bought any food. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I did buy rations at this last town, but typically I don't. I just gather as I walk. This oh, I absolutely did not buy rations at this last town. What are you eating? I, I don't right. have a bedroll, I don't have a sleeping bag, I don't have pillows, I don't have a blanket, I don't have rations. I've I, I, just been eating at each town that we've been stopping off at. Oh, actually, now we have a donkey. I'm going to buy a bedroll, too. I don't have a... All I have is a blanket. We have a donkey? Yes. My donkey. Well, if, if I ever get separated from you, I'll buy my own donkey. <laughs> I guess technically for an hour, I could carry all my gear if I shapeshifted into something else. So, what do you guys do? Anything we we walked to Valor. Buy anything? Yeah. So okay. I, I think I described what the what we did in the morning, right? I packed the donkey, woke up Desmond, met the carriage, and then we went to break. So you, yep, so, you start going on to the town of Valark. Is it just her and the... It is just the her and the uh, Czar. Czar. So he also, he like he deals with the carriage... He has, he has hired a driver, and he seems okay, so to be the main bodyguard. I wonder where we could find a dire wolf. Yes, there is There is an actual, no, there is, there is an actual driver, yes. So there's three? No three people in total. Noble woman, does the guard stay in the carriage, or does he walk next this, to it? The guy walks next to it. Okay. So we does do the guard well. seem, like, old and haggard? Has he, like, been around? Definitely. Right. I, I start asking him about dire wolves. I want to know where I can find a dire wolf. She looks at you and after a couple of minutes just asks, What a young way you at you seek death. No, I just want to see a dire wolf. Aren't they supposed to be big and majestic? Shakespeare said, Big and majestic when they're not trying to eat you, which is when they see you. Oh, I'm sure I'd be fine. I'll flutter my lashes at him. She seems not interested. During your conversation, he has shown almost no emotion at all. So I will lead. I will, yeah, be in front of the carriage with my donkey. Desmond. I, I don't know. I walk um, at the very front, if I can. I will try and take okay. point. Um, so and I will so make. Are you like making an effort to get in front of me? I mean, uh, like if you're walking in the front of everything, I will. I, I'll start off the day by like briskly trotting out in front of everything, like making ex, you know an effort to take point. Um, mm -hmm. But if you challenge me for position up front, then I will turn to the lady whose name I've already forgotten. Lady Sarnath. She's Sarnath. Though, and uh, strike up conversation with her. Like a province in Forgotten Realms or something? No, it's actually a name taken from a character in the Wheel of Time. Ah. It's like a very secondary character that appears just a couple of times. And it's an actual lady. Well, actually, no, it's it's Lady Suolf there. This is Sarnath. It's their family. Nope, nope. It's from H.P. Lovecraft. That's what I'm thinking of. Okay. Sarnath? Mm -hmm. What's the that? Doom, the doom that came to Sarnath in other stories. <laughs> Is a title of one of H.P. Lovecraft's collections. It's a short story. Might might have even read that story. Continue. Anyway, okay. I, I would like to take point, and if I can't take point, then I will talk to the lady, Lady Sarnath. Uh, well, Please. she's inside of the uh, cabin. She doesn't seem to have any problem with you going inside. I mean, I would walk along outside and like, yeah, you know, rap on the window, and when she rolls it down or opens the door or whatever just chat I'll walk alongside her and if she invites me in I will sit inside but otherwise I yeah as I said like when you no, she invites you in okay. saying you are quite well dressed you won't tarnish my pillows come in uh, I come in and make pleasant conversation uh, I come from a, a very well bred background and my manners are immaculate and I have you know I know how to make small talk and chat with people. I'd like to figure out um, who, where exactly she comes from and who exactly she is of importance in the world. Mm, okay. So the conversation starts. She is pretty open. Um, Lord Prentice, how do you ask? How Go on. Just... Uh, my lady, you are lovelier 
every day I see you. And seeing as it's oh. only been two days, I cannot wait until we finish our journey. Oh, it's a long one there, young Desmond. Almost, um, six days, maybe even seven by carriage to Varar from here. Is it? I was unaware yes. Valark was quite so far away. Well, uh, there is a reason. There is, uh, cities. I have not seen a tax greater in half a year or even more. Hmm. What I know, traders haven't come for six months. Where is it that you are from? Oh, me? Um, I'm, I'm far away. Stars Bay is what I call home. Stars Bay? Do I know Stars Bay? Is it a place? Uh, is it on this map? It's on the map. It. Stars Bay? Go exactly south of Crown Spring. Yeah, it's super Red. far south. St oh, Star. Okay, it's on Cedar Lake. Okay. Stars Bay. That is, that is quite some distance. What brings you so far north? Aaron's a uh, promise that I have made. Intending on finishing it in uh, Valark now. Finally, being able to go back home. What brings you to Carwick? Not many come this far north, or west, east. My father was uh, of your bread, an adventurer. He met my mother one time when she was young and um, in the castle of Stars Bay and well, that was the day I was uh, made. He has sent me a message from Carwick to retrieve an item for him. Um, and I have, um, I've gone on this mission. Well, now, if you wish to give no further details, I will not press. I'm not one to invade another's privacy. Your messages are most cryptic indeed. <laughs> well, what is a lady without her mystery? At least that is what I wrote in court. I mean, it is some concern if you are... Not not to pry too heavily, but if you are transporting... Mm, merchandise that may draw undue attention to us, or might cause people to seek us out to do us harm, I think it would be prudent that we were aware of these things beforehand. You are aware that you are my guards? You're Excuse me, make sure I'm we safe. are traveling in company with you. I am on the road. I, I am not under your employ. Let us be very frank about that. You may pay those men out there for their time. I travel with you at my pleasure. <laughs> he smiles at you. You're a young one. Yes, yes you've well, said that uh, like five times now. Is this conversation? You're in the carriage? I'm yeah, in the right carriage. Right, so we probably can't really hear you. Yeah, Unless well, you want to, like, stalk the carriage, but you're on Your point. friends are my guards, put it like that. They need to protect me, and that's it. I, I have no idea what this item, to uh, be honest, is much. Well, then let's open it and look. I am not allowed to do that, I have promised. You know... Hmm, perhaps I should stretch my legs. And I hop out of the wagon and look around. Uh, so we've got Sandar in the front and Hamara is in the rear? Uh, Hamara, where I'm, are you? I, I'm using my advanced movement speed to like flutter about checking stuff on the road and then catching up and then maybe making little side trips and then catching up. When Hamara like comes back towards our direction, I try and like wave Hamara over and chat with her and Sandor at the same time. So we walk and talk. We're like, yeah, I don't know. Did we have a, a rule about talking? We, we <laughs> had a rule about talking. Uh, let's not make small talk. So let's get down to business. This woman um, is a, most peculiar. She seems to be in possession of some sort of thing, some something locked away that she doesn't know what it is. And that she has been sent on a, a, a quest, a mission, a, 
long duty by a powerful person to retrieve um, all these secrets and such a, a person of such wealth doing this it makes me I should expect this to not be necessarily a, a simple journey it, it might be best for us to distance ourselves from her or to mm, I, I do not understand your suspicions you have not inspected my person. You do not know every item that I carry on me. Why are you not suspicious of me? You did not ask me to walk with you to protect you. You are not a elegant lady riding in a carriage. You do not have jewels or gold dripping from you. She draws... Uh, uh, I expect that she has jewels and gold. That is why she hires one such as I to protect her. This is how I make my living. I guess what I'm trying to say is I... Uh, there, uh, if we are to be ambushed on the road, it will not be by simple bandits looking for gold or jewels. It will, by be, it will be by trained men with a specific mission to retrieve a specific something from her. Does... What, what specific something? She will not tell me. She does not know herself. And she will not find out. She refuses to investigate. Do you suspect magic? I suspect magic. I suspect... I suspect that there is a great deal of misinformation at work here. Uh, I am not taking any of her coin. I know you are. You should probably be getting paid quite a bit more. And to be perfectly honest, I, I think this may not even be worth our efforts. Sanders double dipping. He's getting paid twice for the same job. So right, we'll see what I'm <laughs> getting out of Desmond. Here, hold my ass, Desmond, and I hand you the, the rope that's tied around the donkey. I hold on to it and, and watch you. I will. I say a little louder now so that the bodyguard overhears. Uh, I am going to take a walk and secure our rear. I thought I saw something in the bush. And I will casually walk. I'm going like, to slow down so that I get to the back of the carriage. And as I walk past the carriage, um, <clears throat> can we get some traveling music instead of some barroom music? Oh, wait. Uh, uh, sorry about that. That's cool. Oh, to... it stopped. There it is. Sounds good. Yeah. That's what I want to see. Good. All right. As I walk, as I walk past the carriage, I sort of I brush my hand along the side of it. My nostrils flare, and I uh, mm, I don't know what I would what I would mutter under my breath. So I don't I don't I don't think I'm casting a spell. <laughs> Some wait, um, what? What do you think you're doing? Um, but I, I will be, I will be use, using a detect magic, um, somewhat discreetly. So I'll make sure that I walk past the guard and sniff out magic in in the vicinity. Um, okay. Uh, so let's see. Go on. Foot of stone. Okay. Foot of stone. Inch of common metal sheet of lead or dirt so unless or, or three feet of wood or dirt so unless it's like per intentionally unless there's magic intentionally concealed i think i should detect any magic in you the cart. don't detect and it lasts any minutes, magic so sort of on the cart around. or on anybody else or in the cart or in the cart or on the or cart back. or on anybody else very well so I'll do like, I'll circle around, I'll hang around in the rear for 10 minutes or so. I mean, it lasts for a while, so I'm keeping an eye open, but. Uh, 10 minutes later, I'll return to the head of the head of the cart with the rest of the party. No, I do, I do not smell any sorcery on, on our, on this woman. I think your, uh, your suspicions are unfounded. Magic or not, she has something in her possession that would make her a, a target. Uh, and come the ambush that may, we should, 
We... As long as we don't sleep through it, we should be fine. Yes, I mean, we are we are expecting trouble. I expect that she is carrying wealth. This is why we are paid. Hmm. I think you are being paranoid, Desmond. Perhaps. Sit back and get ready for some adventure. Hmm. I am ready for adventure. I just don't trust her. I don't like being misled and lied to. I don't think anyone has lied to us. Lies of omission. So I take my donkey back. Unless Desmond has grown fond of it. No. Desmond, have you grown fond of it? Uh, I'm glad that it's carrying my bags for me, but I don't particularly need to spend time near it. It has this weird smell. We need to name the donkey at some point. That, that might be Sandor, actually. Uh, I we... smell like I probably haven't bathed in months. Just a... Hey, Sandor, what are, you gonna name? Musk. what are you going to name the donkey? <clears throat> Mmm. Puro. Is it... Puro is donkey in Spanish? Mm -hmm. I uh, had not intended to name it. What about Boris? It kind of looks like a Boris. Hmm. Well. So, you guys continue on, um, for the camp for tonight that you set up, um... Yeah, does she have a tent or something? She, she just sleeps in the carriage. Okay. Um, it seems that, uh, Czar has, uh, a tent he sets up for himself, uh, near the front of the carriage. Um, okay. he looks at all three of you and says, uh, the driver is on point, uh, I'll take the first watch, you can take the others. Okay. I'll volunteer to take one of the watches, like, in the middle of the night, because I have dark vision. So I think we set a fire, um, probably in between the tent and the carriage, or I don't know where... Czar... You're on the side of the road, basically, right now. Mm -hmm. Where does Czar put his tent, though, in relation uh, to as a, Yeah, as a, he put it right in front of the entrance of the carriage. Okay. He's very close to the carriage. And so do we have a fire like in front of the tent? Uh, in front of the tent and you can have your sleeping bags around it. I don't think I have, we have sleeping bags. Mm -hmm. I have nothing whatsoever. And as it gets time to make <laughs> camp, I look around awkwardly. Everybody is kind of like going out. Off. Yeah, she's, she's going out of bed roll. Uh, Zara is going out of tent. The driver is kind of making himself comfortable on the seat or putting a pillow. I use my like backpack as a pillow and my long flowing traveler's robe as a blanket. Actually, is there a tree nearby? Uh, there are trees. Yes, this. Uh, this I'll, part of it. I'll like sling myself a uh, a tree hammock. Sleep in that. Okay. That and uh, I have you're rope the only one and a Kind of remains around looking, Desmond. What's up? I look back and forth. And take off my my shield, you know. Take off my armor. Keep my sword on, and say, uh, I guess I'll, I'll I'll take watch tonight, boys. <laughs> yes, that that was the discussion. This is our first. Uh, you can be second. Amari third. No, no, it's okay. I'll, I'll take watch all night. Uh, that is I got not it. Practical. No, you should sleep. No, no, it's it's fine. I really, I'm, uh, I'm a hardy warrior. I can stay up all night. All right, I'll whisper. Okay, Zara, you take first. Tamari can take. I'll take second. Tamari can take the last four hours. <laughs> and we leave. We secretly leave Desmond out of the watch schedule. <laughs> Desmond tries to stay up all night yeah. taking watch, and so he doesn't have to. Sleeping. All of it. <laughs> yeah, so he can, he can stay, stay up all night. That's the first night is gonna be okay. If you sleep, if you wanna like further nights, that's gonna start going into exhaustion levels. So you guys sleep. Um, let's see. Nothing happens in the night. Uh, you have a restful sleep. Uh, if you wanna use 
If you want to use any of your hit dice, you can now. If not, all your other abilities concerning short or long rests are back. Okay. I'll have her people uh, good gone? berries before they disappear. You give some good berries around. Um, uh, Czar tries a couple himself, nods its head, and after that, uh, where the uh, Sar and F tries her some as well, and she is decently pleased. And then I create an additional 30 before I go to sleep. Okay. Jeez. So, um, you guys wake up the next morning, as I said, and I think we, um, that you just go on the road. Anything mm -hmm. specific? Same as last time. Desmond does not look like he slept all night. Yeah. Groggy and like, <sighs> just like switch between oversleeping and all nighters and. It's all right, guys. Let's, let's get on the road. Put my armor on, heft my shield, get my walk, sword. So you can't fall asleep on the journey. Just kind of walk. The road is very lonely. That's one thing that you've noticed. Traveling between Onscar. Uh, and then uh, Carwick, there have always been people that you found on the road, the road here to Varark, extremely lonely, not a soul. Except for the these drastic huh? companions of mine. Yeah, except your drastic companions. If it weren't and... for them, I'd have some peace and quiet. <laughs> One second, let me move you to the map over on here. Okay. So, um, you guys are, let's see, go, oh, wait, roll 20 died for me. No. No. I don't know what I pressed, but uh, an advertisement about sewage pipes appeared <laughs> for some reason. Anyway, this is the uh, very nice uh, map that you are on. Let me put in your carriage. And um, you start going on and about um, a bit more in the journey. You see that in front of you, the road is... Uh, blocked uh, by a felled not, tree. It's blocked by a felled tree. Let me get your tokens from somewhere. There we have it. A Sandor. Sandor and the donkey. How many... Uh, Horses pull the, how many horses pull the carriage? Uh, only one. The carriage is not that big. It's a one person carriage. Uh, the carriage would stop at the bend over on here. It's because that's when kind of you had line of vision. Yeah. So we, I would, okay. Okay, move your tokens around where you want to be in this situation. It, does it look like it was chopped down? It. I mean, it, it it takes you. You need to go there and see. No, what do you mean? You can you can tell from. It's it it looks quite a distance. I wouldn't get this close if it looked like it was chopped down. Actually. It doesn't look like it's chopped down. It looks like it like it fell naturally. Like it, yeah, it's it, 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 it looks like it's not a clean cut. cut. It's a. It's a, you can you can even see it on the map. But it's not a clean cut. Like on the stump of of the tree on the itself. Map, it looks it looks like it was cut down. No, no, not the stump. Down. Not the stump. If look it was blown down by the wind, it would have like it'd be. Shattered, irregular. It'd be ripped yeah. into pieces and like spiky all over the place. A tree in our elementary school got blown over by the wind one year. So one, it was like the whole, all the trees. Yeah, but there was like all that the one world. right by the the blacktop, like on the blacktop next to the. Thing. I'm thinking like the El Nino storms. Yeah. Whenever it was. Yeah, I mean like we lost a lot of trees. Every but... tree in the playground, and there was like a forest of knock down trees. In the yeah, yeah but, the but right next to the blacktop, right near the special ed building, there's that mm -hmm. one tree that like, <laughs> the slide tree, the slide tree that splintered. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, I think all of you can give me perception checks. God, my perception word. is so shitty. <laughs> Desmond the Oblivious, they might as well call me. Well, I think Desmond the Awkward is the popular choice now. Desmond's not awkward. Desmond's a bro. He's cool. I think I think, I think Desmond's sleepyhead. Pretty good. 
Okay. Uh, well, Sandor, your your very keen eye catches movement in the trees. It's tree. Uh, in the trees, not one tree. Uh, this tree over on here. This tree over on here, and uh, behind the tr the felled tree. All right. I will, I will quickly shout out, uh, two arms, men. I, I, I spot movement in the trees. And I will draw my two blades and look around. Uh, as you say that, uh, a man appears up over on the right, basically right in front of you but like on the other side of the tree you can see that at his side he is he is currently holding um about two mastiffs mastiffs and the dogs says, mastiffs yes mm -hmm. mastiff the dogs that are completely silent he's talking um you. how huh? i look to the to the trees to the side how many do i how many can i make out in the trees there or can I just see things shifting? Okay, you can see things shifting. You don't know how many there are inside. I'm trying to find some cool music for this. Give me one second. There it is. Okay. And he says, now, now. Oh, keen eye you have there. No I need mean... to do unnecessary trouble. I keep looking Close at the trees because I want some targets. So the longer yeah. this conversation goes on, the more likely it is I can spot. Desmond's so new to this, start, so if he starts start seeing archers around the side, in the trees, right. 10, 15 feet okay, up. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sheathe my swords again, and I say, "You are right. There is no need for trouble. Um, so perhaps you should uh, restrain your dogs and let us carry on our way." My dogs are very. I'm going for my bow. Okay. Not even uh, barking at you. Now, don't you touch other do the guys in the Do the guys in the tree have um, crossbows? Are they? Do they have cover? They yes, they are in the tree. Like 10, 15 up the tree. Does their cover give us cover? Or uh, in some like... cases, they, yeah, yeah, depends on your like. For example, um, for this guy, if you were behind this rock, you'd have three quarters cover. Co entry. Desmond has a half cover from this guy because he is behind the shrubbery over here. Mm -hmm. Okay, says now, now, we're not here to kill anybody. We're just uh, looking for a fair share for you, us, letting you use our road. I. Uh, that is not how this works. Um... Well, that is how it works now. And uh, you see, like, a couple more bandits stepping out from um, bushes. This, these were very well con uh, concealed. You had no idea they were here. Weapons out. Okay. Um, all right. I will unsheathe my sword again. One, at least one sword again. So, no, no. Pay up the money. You have a quite a nice carriage there. I'm sure you I'm can like, scruff up some tossing money. My blade in, in my left hand. <clears throat> I will, I will give you one last chance to call off your dogs before I'll like, I have to I'll, butcher them. I'll actually stand behind the carriage, like I say, the carriage here, and roll a stealth check against the guy in the tree. All right. While this I'm, okay. I'm going to turn. Ouch. I will turn. I will point my blade at this guard using a bonus action to employ my hunter's mark. And say, uh, I I will say again, call off your dogs or I will have to butcher them, starting with <laughs> that one. And I point and look straight into his eyes. The only thing alive in here after we're done with you would be a donkey. Men, kill them! All right, uh, initiative, I guess, right? Initiative. Um, now, the question is, this encounter might rest a bit more than you can. Yeah. Uh, I, do we want to do you want to stop here and do shout outs and come back next week with like right this and not even have initiative so we can roll because we might forget the initiative. Cuz you have to um, be you have to actually leave at 12:15, right? Yeah, that's that's what I was one. I have to, so. I've got like 20 minutes at the most. So unless we can have like a super efficient battle, maybe we should just wrap it up here. Yeah, let's wrap it up here. Let's call it a night. 
and uh, then we I will be out of town next week so we'll come back on the first of March mm, sounds sounds good yeah I'm okay. working on the first of March okay same time same time same place same time same place cool Right. Let's uh, put that down on music. So, uh, well, that's it. That's Honorbound for today. Yeah. Got to meet a new character. Got to get into some awkward R role playing, which intentionally <laughs> awkward, not accidentally awkward. Intentional is much more fun. Well, accidental, I think, was the was on the road. I don't think you really intended that uh, interaction with you. I mean, two, accidental uh, in the sense of, or intentional as in role playing, awkward yeah, rather I than we, like actual awkward awkwardness character. between players. Yeah, that 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 really happens when experienced players, experienced players, <laughs> that really happens, <laughs> especially people that know each other. Yeah. For so well, many years. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, does anyone have any anything they would like to say before we bounce out of here? Well, as always, if you're interested in more D and D and stuff, uh, it's on my on my channel. I'm streaming a lot these days. Uh, we recently started playing Rimworld. This is like the survival colonist thing that you create your own colony and try and survive. It's an awesome game, and we've been naming people from chat as the colonists. It's, it's pretty funny if you see the situations, like how hearty people can get when the character is near dying or something happens to them. For example, I remember from Darkest Dungeon, Trigger got syphilis. It was amazingly fun how all the chat blew up with that. Uh, so if you want to check that out, twitch.tv slash, uh, uh, twitch slash Chucky616. Uh, d and and gameplay streams. See you there. Cool. Anyone else have anything they want to share with the world before we call it a night? Or morning. Hey guys, I'm Cavalier Guest on Twitch. Um, I stream mostly Hearthstone. I stream Monday through Friday from 1 to 5 p.m. I think I'm going to get back to streaming tomorrow. I was sick all last week, so I missed most of my streaming. Um, I also might be playing D3 on Seasonal since it, Season 2 just started. And I haven't actually played since ROS got released. So, see how that works out. Cool. Thanks for watching. And if that's it, then. Uh, I, you won't see me until misclicks on Tuesday of not this week, but next week, um, Tuesday, the, the 24th, that's the next time you guys will see me on stream. So mm. see you guys later. Bye-bye. Take care, everyone. Bye. Thanks for watching.